Hello and welcome to another Daily Dose of Insights powered by Container Exchange. My name is Christian and every other day we bring to you the key news, uh, stories and data points that move container markets and hence your business. Today it's Monday, so we have Macro Monday at Exchange. Uh, let me quickly share my screen to give you a little bit more guidance on what I'm talking about. Um, quickly, we'll start with news from last week because they'll likely impact uh, this week's trading um, as well. We have uh, U.S. joblessness claims um, come in on last Thursday, which dropped to the lowest in three weeks, really signaling a strong labor market, despite, of course, um, the past uh, increases in interest rates. And then in the euro area, um, a little bit of the opposite picture, we saw the PMI indices uh, worsening, um, and uh, which, of course, uh, signals a, a downturn or a, a lasting downturn, and which increases um, the likelihood that the EBCB will pause um, hiking interest rates in um, September, um, despite interest rates, uh, sorry, uh, inflation rates still being relatively high. Um, and then this week, uh, tomorrow, we have the consumer confidence come in for Germany, expected negative but stable. So we'll see how that turns out. Um, and then on Wednesday, very interesting, the same um, uh, sort of uh, look at Europe um, economic sentiment, some ex decrease expected uh, to 93.9 points. So not so, so negative there. And then speaking of inflation rates, um, we just talked about sort of uh, the uh, euro area PMI signaling was in downturn and the ECB likely um, pausing their rate hikes. That comes at a time where the inflation rate in Germany is still at around about 6% year on year, at least expected um, for Wednesday's um, data points. And then on Thursday, we'll have some news from China and India. Uh, China, relatively stable manufacturing PMI, expected at uh, roughly 50 points or 49.4 points. While in India, um, very, very positive news here, GDP growth expected to pick up really significantly from 6.1% year on year to 7.7%. Um, of course, this comes um, uh, at the time where we talk about uh, China plus one, um, uh, diversification of supply chains, uh, moving of manufacturing capacity from China to other era, uh, countries in the, in the area, Middle East, India, Southeast Asia, um, and that might already be an indicator um, of increased activity there. That's it um, from me, from us for today. Um, thanks a lot for tuning in and uh, talk to you all on Wednesday. Take care.